I'm just gonna go to sleep. Let's progress the game. Weed is good sometimes. Weed, I don't like road. it because I can't breathe. You used to like it. I did in college. I didn't really even like it that much. I liked Coke. Oh, jeez, don't. I know, don't, but that was don't that was yourself. that was when Coke was like for Legal. the elite. <laughs> Way back in Studio like, Fifty Four days. Like all like all the uh, the people like, would you like some cocaine with your caviar? <laughs> Dave, you're funny. Thank you. That's true, but it's not true. It was just at Studio Would you like 54 to do a, was some wild. cocaine off this naked hooker's belly. Uh, yeah. No, thank you. No, okay, thank night you. time already. All right, all right. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Get out of there. Good night, good night, good night. Wake up. Oh, here, that stupid theater. God, my neck is hurting me. So, go to the massage, masseuse. I can't. Go to Dr. Masseuse. Mm -hmm. After I declined the, the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. And you're drop, not dropping the issue either, fucker. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab. This is the stupidest. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about to make you extra special, you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed this sigh on the other what, end of the line. What is all this? There's a reason for it. Okay. You just don't see the splendor of the crabs. Haven't you ever heard of the tale of the guy when the monkey got crabs? <laughs> of course I've heard of it. I know all about it. So what? Yeah, the crab beat the monkey. Shave your pubes. And hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. You can still have crabs, even if you don't have pubes. Well, sure, where do they hide? Still... They don't. Uh, they your, just walk all your over. Your balls them. still Ew. show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are yeah, sweeping the fashion world. you would find them very quickly. But the crab stand... Uh, what I'm about to say is crabs don't like light speed. So do your research. Well, the and pop... Okay. The you said that already. Really? Okay. Ding dong, big dong. Who has big, a dong? No big dong. dong. L long... Oh, Long Johnson. <laughs> oh, Long Big Dong. Oh, Long Johnson. <laughs> oh, my piano. Oh, Don Piano. <laughs> I need to do something about soccer. I better go to the dining hall. Yeah, my allergy. Oh, my God. Why is your eye itchy? Allergy. Ah! Oh, shit. What's going on? Oh, no. Huh? Shit. What was happened? Some, what, someone's, I think it came from the dining hall. Oh, fuck. What's happening now? Uh, uh, stuff. Yeah, open. There we go. So, uh. Ah, Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Look! What? Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Oh shit! What? He, okay, they're, they're talking. What so. What are you doing? Are you okay? What happened? She, really? She killed her. What? Genocide. Jill killed Hina. She's standing what? right there. What do you mean? You gotta be kidding. No, she's, she's not, not dead. dead. Open your eyes. No way, she's dead. Why? What happened? Well, Toko and Hina just all of a sudden they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table. What? And that led to a sneeze. Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might. I might be flat, but at least mine are real. What is wrong with you? She's a nutcase. And look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? I'll set you on fire? This girl's nuts. Anyway, you totally non adorable boys. Just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else. I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. So just kill someone and so we can execute you. Okay, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, Hero, help me. Sure thing. <laughs> ah, she, God, I hate her. Yeah, she's a bitch. She's the, the serial killer. Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. Someone should just tie her up. Why, really, why don't really, they do that? Really, they, can really. all, they can all overpower her. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injuries in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Fuck you. Yes, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> He's so sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Uh, yeah, well... Can I, can I leave, or do you want me to talk? To, to no, fuck don't her. Bother. But man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. So why are you smiling? If I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep again, which would suck. I love sleep. You did see someone's life come to a, an end. You saw three really? people's oh, lives come to yeah, an yeah, end. But, uh, right there. Standing no, right there. He, he was standing right there. Oh, okay. Like he was well, like. That's true. When in, they that's true. That's Leon's. true. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Never <laughs> mind the person who actually died. Right. Jesus Christ. Hey, Hina, hey, what the heck happened? Um, we just got into a fight, and I lost my temper okay, and great. flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. At first, I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes jerk get buttholes. to you all the time, you'll never have time left to live your life. I know that feeling. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just, without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. A dozen punches isn't really without thinking. 
And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Okay. Because, because, because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know. Great. Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears, and just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off of his... And there she stood before us. Hina? Sakura? You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey. Makoto, Hiro, what's the meaning of this? It wasn't me. It was Genocide Jill. It's all that demented, murderous fiend's fault. Don't hurt Hina, damn you! Leave me alone, but hurt her? What is this? What is this? <laughs> God, she's in love with her. Yeah. I'm okay. Really, it's just a scratch. <laughs> Unforgivable. I can't forgive them. Yeah. Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. Uh, you know, he's not doing anything. I don't hate you, exactly. Why? Oh, shit. S -s 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 Somebody save me. And near he tripped over himself as he ran out of the nurse's office. But just a second later, what's going on? Oh, hey, it's her. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. I gather that something happened. No shit. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here and now. Oh shit, you're gonna kill someone drawing a line? Goodbye. Okay. Wait, wait, Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Oh, this is awkward. Uh-oh. Uh, can I leave? It's too awkward. Okay, I can't leave. But I gotta be awkward. Um, um Kyoko? Kyoko? Are you still mad? Yeah, I That's figured. Fine. It's fine. Huh? Ooh. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Alright, great. Then do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words. You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. Yes. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Thanks for being understanding, you You didn't dumb want to bitch. confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? So you understand my logic. <laughs> to think like that, I wouldn't have expected, I wouldn't have expected arrogance such from arrogance from you. She literally just said it in in voice land. What? Because, because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. Yeah. You were a bitch. No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm that's sorry. Fine. It's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides, I... I may have overreacted. Oh, she's blushing. Huh? Anyway. Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thanks. Okay, so let me get out of here. Oh, God damn it, you still want me to talk? Oh, God. That issue we discussed doesn't matter anymore. Okay, I want to talk about something, something else? else. What is it you want to talk to me about? Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. All right, where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get it going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Ah, Kyoko, I hurried to catch up to her. So where are we going? Don't know. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. It's the bath! All right, great. The dressing room? So the something else you mentioned? Indeed. That's right, it has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. I didn't say we didn't need him, I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Oh shit, huh? Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Alright, sorry, we're back somewhat. We had to go in. Uh, All right, it doesn't matter. Sister came in. Okay, so... Correct. Okay. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently is something he wants to ask Alter us. Alter Ego wants to ask... Did I do that already? I don't remember. What is it? Hello! Oh, um, so it's just the two of you. Kyoko and Makoto. Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is, he, is it he wants to ask us? Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed in the question. What did you want us to ask oh, wow. you? So, yeah. I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? What? She said. Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied? Why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I've finished my work, I don't want that. 
I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can all get out of here. That's what Master would want, too. So to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of this school, the only way I can help is if you connect me to this school's network. But if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the Mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd... You agree, right, Kyoko? 